Several school districts are going virtual. Grayson County has decided to keep its kids in the classroom. And while their cases may seem low on the surface, the health department says not so fast. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons explains why. We are so happy to be here in school today. Kids have roamed the halls at Grayson County High School all year. Superintendent Kelly Wilmer says it's likely going to stay that way for a while. Children are not meant to be socially isolated. And at this time of year, we felt it was imperative to keep the kids in school. Wilmore determined Grayson County Schools will continue its in-person education and social distancing precautions. Keep your mask up and keep social distance at all times. He says there have been just four total COVID-19 cases within the district and believes the rural county is at a lower risk than more dense areas. Our numbers and our isolation here in this community is, is very positive for us. That, that's the only reason we're able to continue to stay open. There have been 587 total COVID-19 cases in Grayson County, according to the Virginia Department of Health, and 22 deaths. The county falls within the Mount Rogers Health District, and Director Karen Shelton says COVID-19 is a serious threat throughout Southwest Virginia. Grayson County has 3,755 per 100,000 population, which is equivalent to almost every other county in my district. However, she understands Wilmore's decision to stay in school because remote learning is nearly impossible in Grayson County. Very limited internet access within much of the county. We know that in Grayson County, going virtual is not really an option. Wilmore is prepared to change his plans if there is an outbreak in Grayson County, but he's optimistic his kids can make it to the end of the year within these walls. It has been a tremendous challenge. By far, the hardest thing I've dealt with as a superintendent, but you have to do what's best for your community and your kids, and that's kind of what we feel we've done here. In Grayson County, Taj Simmons, 10 News working for you. Dr. Shelton says Bland County is the only other school district still doing all in-person learning.